Hey everybody, my name is Hollis and welcome back to my channel, Watercolor With Me. Today we're going to be going over how to create even washes of like one color and two colors in watercolor. So I have two things, or two pieces of paper here taped down to my board. Um, this is an independent board, normally I paint directly on my work stop, or work station, work top. Um, but today I have it um, on a board so it's a little easier to move around. Um, and I do have a little little tiny box here, just a piece of cardboard basically, um, about an inch, half inch thick. I'm just using that to prop up my board. That way it's at an angle, because having it at an angle helps give paint direction, and that'll come into play here in a little bit. So I just have a little travel watercolor set here that I put together, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use this kind of bright orange color here, and I'm just going to mix up a good amount of the color just because I'm for this first one I'm gonna do it's just gonna be one one color of a wash so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that going some hair or something on this whatever <laughs> and I'm just mixing up a good base of color a good amount to get started because I want it to be one even coat of color so I'm actually gonna water it down because I don't want it to be super super heavy when I'm putting it on so I got my brush I'm really mixing in the paint into the brush bristles. That's why I'm going back and forth so much. And I am going to start on this little guy here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and you're just going to make a line. And as you can see that um, because there's a little bit of direction that paint is starting to pull here at the bottom. So you're just going to kind of carry that line of wet paint all the way down the page. And I'm just kind of getting my brush nice and wet. We're just going to keep going back and forth nice and slow. And you want to just keep that bead of paint moving down the page, essentially. And that's going to help you create a nice, even wash. Just all the way down, nice and steady, nice and slow. You can fill in a couple areas. The one thing that's nice about keeping it at this angle is even if you do like miss a spot, you can kind of go back in and fill it in because the water's going to slowly come down the page anyway thanks to gravity, our lovely friend. So I did that. I'm just going to go in with a brush that I have cleaned off. It's a little bit on the damp side. I'm just going to go in and pick up some of those extra droplets because I want it to make sure it's nice and even. So that is one way of creating a nice even wash. Another way is to completely wet the paper and kind of do a similar thing but with the pigment directly onto it. Um, but that's a nice easy way to create a nice even tone. This is really good if you are wanting to harmonize a scene. Um, traditionally in watercolors and other types of painting, um, they would start with a nice yellow ochre beige base and then layer the reds and the blues on top of it, almost like a traditional printer does, like a like a computer printer where it's the CMYK inks, it kind of does the same thing where it lays down the lightest layer and builds up those darker layers. And I dropped a little bit of water in there, but I'm not worried about that because everything else here is going to be nice and even. So the next thing I'm going to do is kind of demonstrate a even wash, but with two colors. So that way they're going to blend into themselves and blend together. So I'm going to start with the same orange. Going up here at the top, this paper is completely dry that I'm putting it on. I just have a little bit more water in my brush. I want this to be a little bit on the darker side. It's so mixing in with some of the colors that were already on my palette. So I'm going to do that, bringing it down, bringing it down. I want to make sure that it's still nice and wet here. So what I'm going to do is switch over to another color. So I'm actually going to switch over to a yellow and I'm going to mix it with some of this orange that's already on the palette so it's a little bit of a smoother transition and I'm going to go in and just kind of mix it right in back and forth a little bit here where it's transitioning before I move right into just doing the same thing but now with that yellow color again keeping that bead along the bottom here it's going to help keep that give it one direction Going in, adding a little bit more yellow as I go, adding a little bit more water as I go, 
mixing it nice, nice and evenly on my brush, and then going back in here. I'm just kind of carrying it all the way down the page. And if you want, you can make this transition go a little bit nicer and just kind of tilt that page a little bit more and kind of prop it up to dry because that's going to let the pigments continue down the page a little bit more and do more of an even wash. So you can see on the left side here, the areas that I didn't accidentally drop water on are staying nice and even. It's a really nice even coat of color here and that's really lovely. With this kind of a thing here, with a two-tone, you can kind of create a sunset effect. You can go in later and put in darker shades of buildings. Um, you can either do a classic silhouette with like a pure black ink or watercolor or kind of mimic these colors again and just do different shapes. Um, rectangles and things kind of give an idea of like a cityscape or something. So this one's still a little bit wet, but that is a really easy way to just do a nice even wash in your watercolors. One color and two color complementary tones, kind of melding nice together. Um, hope that was helpful. Hope you learned something and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.